Alpha. Hi everyone, this is Han, a camera product specialist from Sony Malaysia. I'm here to guide you through everything about the Sony Alpha camera. Are you looking for a camera to start your photography journey, videography journey, or both at the same time? Ah, been thinking to invest in a full frame camera to take all your upcoming awesome traveling photo, but not sure which one is the best for you. Uh, feeling like smartphone is uh, limited all the time. In this video, uh, mainly focus on Sony Alpha 7 Mark IV and Sony Alpha 7 Mark III, both of which are full frame, mirrorless, interchangeable, e mount lens camera. So, before I start, did you know that great image quality starts from the big image sensor size first, not megapixel? Okay, megapixel is just always a marketing hype where it does not tell you the full picture of what great image quality is in this digital era. Bigger image sensor, uh, uh, such as full frame uh, image sensor, allows you to collect more likes than smaller one. Hence how it can capture beautiful color tone in a photo that lasts forever, even if you look back many years later. Another great benefit of a bigger image sensor, I'm sure you might heard of these few words before, as an example, like bokeh, defocus, uh, background blur. Simply, you want the subject to stand out from the background and the background is also nice and smooth. This is what we call a shallow depth of field uh, image where the subject is in focus and the background it just melts away. It looks like a 3D pop effect with a full frame image sensor, okay? And dedicated lens. The whole image is created by the law of physics, okay? A combination of a camera, image sensor, lens design, focal length choice, subject distance to the camera, uh, and also, of course, the setting inside your camera together to achieve this result. Nothing is simulated or artificial intelligence to create an image like what you are used to seeing on smartphone these days, uh, where a lot of time the photo you get from the smartphone is a bit coke uh, or com computational photography, as people say. More like it's been stir fry and put some chili body here and there before it actually served to you. To make people, uh, sorry, to make it nice, over sharpened, over saturated with artificial background blur, sometimes uh, due to the smaller image sensor size inside a smartphone, they need artificial artificial intelligence to get the jobs done. Therefore, we will never get the same actual raw image quality in comparison to the camera equipped with a full frame image sensor as a comparison. Hence, in this video. I'm here to guide you, uh, guide you on why you might want to consider Sony Alpha 7 Mark III as the perfect full-frame starter mirrors camera for your daily shooting needs. Especially if you are looking for a good camera that takes awesome image quality without breaking your bank. <laughs> highly, highly recommended for those who would like to use it as a photo-centric camera on a daily basis. Especially, like I mentioned, Earlier, how you can create nice background separation with a full frame image sensor on the camera. And in my opinion, Sony Alpha 7 Mark IV is dedicated more for the videography side. Uh, not saying that Sony Alpha 7 Mark III is not good, but there's a specific additional features unique to Sony Alpha 7 Mark IV. Uh, let's say such as uh, it has a higher bit rate, uh, 4K 60p, real time tracking, breathing compensation, focus map, and the new mode down and emphasize during recording and S and Cinetone and many more. But I'll only discuss this today. Okay. So in terms of their uh, similarity between these two cameras, before I dive deep into these new features on Sony Alpha Cell Mark IV, let me go through some of the similarity of Sony Alpha Cell Mark III first. First of all, both ACL Mark IV and ACL Mark III uh, are equipped with full frame XMOR R CMOR sensor. Uh, which is 33 megapixel and 24 megapixel respectively to deliver outstanding speed and also super image quality higher megapixel count uh, does offer you sharper image quality overall 
but 24 megapixel is actually quite a lot as well. It's among the most acceptable uh, resolution in the professional industry where it's big enough if you like to print as well as social media consumption. Uh, averagely, social media these days hardly use more than 8, mega 8 megapixel, so you still get plenty of room to spare, especially if you like to crop the image from the 24 megapixel. Don't forget, it's a full frame image quality. And both ASL Mark 4 and ASL Mark 3 are capable of record up to 15 stop of dynamic range. So dynamic range simply means the intensity of light from the brightest part of the image to the darkest part of the image. So that camera is capable to capture in one single image, especially in raw file format, where it allows you to preserve the detail in the shadow while maintaining the detail in the highlight as well, as demonstrated right here. Uh, you can maintain great image quality without losing detail and a lot of flexibility in post-production that you don't normally get in JPEG files. Both Cell Mark 4 and Cell Mark 3 has uh, great ISO performance up to 51,200 natively, despite the increase in megapixel count on Cell Mark 4 than Cell Mark 3, which re can result in a smaller pixel pitch to gather light on Cell Mark 4. The truth is, higher ISO performance does not sacrifice on the A7M4 as much. It can maintain high resolution while controlling the low noise thanks to the great processing capability of the Beyond Zack XR processor, even in high ISO sensitivity. So both ASMR4 and ASMR3 are also equipped with wide, fast, hybrid AF coverage, like coverage area, about 94% on ASMR4 and 93% on ASMR3 respectively, where you can easily allow the camera to track the subject, even the goes all the way to the corner, and the camera is still able to maintain the focus and follow the subjects. Especially after the introduction of real-time eye autofocus IF back in 2019, taking a portrait photo has never been easier before, where the camera knows exactly the person's eyes is and it tracks on it instantaneously. If there's a person face and eye in the frame simply by hard patching the shutter, allowing you to focus on the composition and capture the perfect expression that you wanted, regardless how the person moves around the frame. Ah uh, moreover, real-time eye autofocus also works in animal too, such as cats and dogs, where you can easily frame your shot perfectly with your adorable pets at home. Uh, by automatically uh, focusing on your pet's eye rather than the surrounding environment, real-time IAF makes it easy to take great animal portraits at any time. Both ASL Mark 4 and ASL Mark 3 camera also have a high-quality OLED electronic viewfinder, which is 3.69 million dots and 2.36 million dots respectively. Shooting with the OLED EF is like a breeze with high quality OLED, LED display inside and let you see what is in uh, the camera seeing. On top, you get the preview of an image in terms of the camera setting, autofocus, uh, and area, uh, depth of field control, and also live exposure. Everything is previewed in the real time. So especially under the direct hot sun, the LCD, LCD, screen, LCD screen might be hard to see. You can also use the EVF to entirely to take photo and check your image playback inside. Very useful. So both ASMR4 and ASMR3 can record high quality full frame 4K video that is uh, full pixel readout without pixel binning, over sampling by reading the full width of the sensor, resulting in high resolution and detailed 4K video. On top of that, you can also record in s Lock 2 and 3, which is uh, PP7, PP8 and PP9, where the camera record quite flat footages uh, for greater color grading flexibility in post-production via your NLE software such as uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut Pro as an example. Moreover, you can also record in HLG, Hybrid Log Gamma, which is PP10 in the camera setting. Color grading is not required to enjoy instant playback of high quality true to life images with no block shadows or blown highlight on HDR, HLG compatible TV. So both ASM M4 and ASM M3 are also equipped with in-body 5-axis image stabilization with 5.5 stop and 5.0 stop respectively to counter any camera shakes while handheld shooting. Let me give you an, exact, uh, an extreme example. Imagine if I'm holding a, uh, my FE 50mm f1.2 G Master and I could achieve stable and shake-free image even when I'm shooting at one-third of the shutter speed. That's a very slow shutter speed for handheld shooting in the real-world scenario all thanks to the in-body 5-axis image stabilization to do its job and it helps me to counter and reduce the chances of blurry image caused by the handshakes while hand-holding. So both ASM4 and ASM3 are also equipped with 
dual memory card slot where you can always have one slot as a backup if you want uh, one slot as a photo recording media another slot as a video recording media it's up to you except SLMR4 sports the latest fastest newer type memory card from Sony which is called CF Express Type A this is much needed for super high quality 4K 60p video with up to 4210 bits and up to 600 megab Mpps internal recording conventional SD card even the fastest one is not enough for this high-end video recording requirement so speaking about transferring media from camera to smartphone it's quite straightforward all you need to do is download the Imaging Edge mobile apps from your Apple or Google App Store uh, once you download from the, the app simply fill up some there are some questions and please go into the setting change the image size uh, for importing from 2M to original so you can have a larger file to initiate the connection for transferring media simply go into the app and scan the camera QR code for pairing after you select your media for transferring the apps will recognize and make the Wi-Fi connection to transfer directly from the camera to the smartphone without additional device needed so for more information you can always visit our Imaging Edge mobile website to find out more so uh, yeah very easy to pair and then connect so both ACM4 and ACM3 are using the latest Z series type battery which is MPF Jack 100 they both have a long battery duration to use for all your shooting needs CIPA rated uh, 580 shots on ASM Mark 4 while 710 shots on ASM Mark 3 if using LCD alone this measure is just a reference we can see ASM Mark 4 use more power in general in comparison to ASM Mark 3 in my day to day shootings I hardly use more than two of the MPF Jack 100 battery in a single day on any of these two cameras because the battery life is much improved from the previous older gen uh, MPFW50 I'm feeling like I'm carrying two MPFW50 in one of these MPF Jacks 100 that like yeah much better for those who might understand how important this is if they are coming from older Alpha cameras such as Alpha Cell Mark II and Alpha 6004 ex uh, example additionally both cameras also sport a USB type C for charging you can always plug your power bank to charge the camera while you are on the go so in terms of weight both ASL Mark 4 and ASL Mark 3 are around similar weight it is 658 gram and 650 gram respectively with battery and memory card included it's considered quite light and much lighter than older DSLR camera days in comparison all many thanks to the mirrorless design overall the uh, body economic wise ASL Mark 4 has a deeper grip in comparison to the ASL Mark 3 although ASL Mark 3 has also improved from the previous generation it is still nice to hold with all the button accessible with your thumbs and fingertips the whole body is highly durable and op operable in tough condition because it's also dust and moisture resistant uh, fortified by the lightweight high, rigidi uh, high rigidity magnesium alloy top cover front cover and internal frame in short it is a great lightweight portable camera that takes high quality full frame image and you can bring along with you uh, anywhere you want with this uh, full frame mirrorless camera body <laughs> together so, so what are the new awesome features on Sony Alpha Cell Mark 4 that is very good for videography okay so uh, first of all you can record up to 4k 60p recording 10 bit 422 on ASL Mark 4 for the first time in NTSC mode or 50p in PAL mode it was only available on our flagship Sony cameras such as Sony Alpha 1 and Sony Alpha 7s Mark 3 it was not possible before all thanks to the brand new Beyond Zack XR image processor it's roughly the eight times faster than previous Cell Mark 3 image processor so it gives you the buttery smooth high quality 4k slow motion playback at two times when you slow down the footage to 30p in your NLE software uh, or you can create instant slow motion video via SNQ mode on the camera please note that SNQ mode does not record any sound so I'm the person who enjoys slow motion video especially I like to slow down in time to enjoy all the beauties in the most natural expression form when you do not see usually in normal 100% playback it is a whole new level of experience in your creative, uh, creative high quality 4K full frame video freedoms uh, secondly is this real time tracking introduced since the original Sony Alpha 9 with firmware update 5.0 in March 2019 it revolutionized the way how we focus on mirrorless camera technology it changed the game entirely uh, in the camera industry it's so much more reliable and stickier where the autofocus is like another human in the camera knowing where your subject is 
following it and tracking it, remember the color, pattern, and the distance. Then combined with real-time eye autofocus, it quickly, uh, it quickly switch to face or eye tracking whenever there is a face on the scene or your, uh, you tell the camera where you want the focus to stay on to the person. It is super accurate and one of the most unique features to have in Sony Alpha cameras. Once you have tried it, you will not feel like you want to go back to another camera because it's just so, uh, yeah, works and uh, effortlessly. With ASL Mark IV, real-time tracking and real-time autofocus technology works together in video mode. So you can simply tap on the LCD screen where you would like the camera to focus on the subject and the camera will just, I mean, the camera lens will keep track of the subject and follow them continuously and effortlessly. So if there's a subject face appear, it will initiate uh, real-time eye autofocus, then the camera will automatically switch to face action, then eye detection if the eyes appear. Otherwise, if the face move away from the camera and it's not being detected, it will go back to real-time tracking and hug, sorry, and, and, and hug the subject. So one of the most unique features that Sony introduced from uh, Acer M4 is the breathing compensation. A lot of the time, most of the lenses that are designed for photo and video in mind, uh, it might not be the perfect for uh, video, especially for specific videographer needs. When they want to rack the focus from point A to point B, often uh, we see the transition appears to be larger or smaller in the frame. It looks like zoom in or zoom out. Is an effect despite that we do not change the position of the camera due to focus breathing effect. It might not be ideal uh, for, uh, it might not be a big deal for photographer, but it is a totally important for certain videographer where they do not want to have any focus breathing at all. Usually, video focus lens without focus breathing issues, they are very expensive and easily cost more than 10,000 or 20,000 or more. So, Sony introduced this breathing compensation features to solve this issue by doing a small crop into the frame, but the result is amazing. And it did not exist before on any of the Sony Alpha camera. It's just mind-blowing features. Furthermore, this is unique to certain Sony lenses only, not available to any third-party lenses. Please visit the Sony website to find out more about this breathing compensation for more details. If you want to find out more on that, it's all up, up on the website. Focus map is another new feature introduced alongside with ASL Mark IV, but, uh, where it actually visualizes the depth of field during the movie shooting. Being able to see the depth of field like a map to show you which area are in, in focus or out of focus, make it easier for quickly to set up your ideal focus point and uh, depth of field during the recording. So the red color area refers to the subject that is closer to the camera, su uh, subject with actual color without any color information overlay, that's where the actual focus area is, and anything in the background behind the focus subject will fall under the blue color region. Simple as that. So the mode down also received a new upgrade as well. It is much more intuitive to use where there are two layers and you can easily switch from photo mode, video mode, and SNQ mode instantaneously without going through like many twists <laughs> in the usual mode down. So it is a long journey usually if you want to change from a photo to video. It takes more effort to get there. Uh, the down switches, the menu, function, and custom setting of various control between stills and movie mode. It's just so much more intuitive to use. Another added awesome feature such as emphasized display during recording is very powerful and simple useful tool. Uh, often we tend to forget whether we actually started our recording or not, but with a huge square, a box appearing as an overlay on the LCD screen itself, we can see that from a distance, you know, uh, whether we have started the recording or not. Moreover, the strap metal on the side, uh, metal holder on ASMR 4 no longer create any wobbling sound because it is a newer design language followed by Sony Alpha Cell S Mark III. Used to be quite noisy on the ASMR Mark III when you try to shake the camera. It is much quieter now than before, although it is a smaller improvement, but it can be very useful for videographers, especially that always worry about the sound quality that is important for them in the video recording. Okay, lastly, S Cinetone in Picture Profile 11 is also my new favorite setting for more impressive movie recording straight out of the camera with cinematic expression. S Cinetone color metric based on technology acquired through the development of Cine Alta cameras such as the Venus uh, uh, product line, uh, produce an impressive look with beautiful skin tone without 
post-processing. So the exposure on it uh, is also pretty straightforward. Depending on whether you want to have more contrasty look by reducing the EV to negative value, or you prefer less contrasty look and more by each few in your video, simply by overexpose uh, the video slightly. Usually, I tend to record anywhere from minus one to plus two, uh, while everything else remains default setting. This is all depending on the looks and feel that I like to create. So uh, in overall conclusion, uh, if you are just starting out uh, if, and you do not wish to fork out a lot of money investment you know, right at the start, I strongly recommend you Sony Alpha 7 Mark III will be the ultimate choice for you to start your journey with its more affordable entry price point, uh, either with the body or the kit lens together options. It's not just packed with all the powerful features and capabilities that is already well suitable for professional usage right now. Uh, for any starter out there, it has a well decent features for both photo and video needs to fulfill the mass majority usage. Especially if you, are, if you like to set up and invest an additional budget for better lens choice in Sony, we have up to 65 E-mount lenses currently, anywhere from 12mm to 1200mm in terms of the focal length choice. <laughs> Our flagship lens is Sony G Master lenses, then followed by Sony G and Zeiss lenses, then Sony lenses. So if you'd like to have something more compact and easier for you to carry around, we have one awesome tiny compact lens together such as FE 24mm f2.8G, FE 40mm f2.5G and FE 50mm 2.5G. These three lenses cover the focal length of 24, 40 and 50mm, most of your daily shooting needs fall between 24 to 70. So these three lenses built like a tank with all metal design, packed additional features from our G Master line and such as aperture control ring where you can easily click and or de-click for your photo and video needs. Beside focus hold button, auto focus, manual focus switch and focusing ring control is all right at your fingertips. So my favorite of all is the 50mm f2.5G because I love to shoot portrait and it provides me the high quality portraiture in such small compact lightweight size that I can yeah, bring with me anytime, anywhere. Even I can easily handheld with it whole day. Thank you very much for your patience in checking out this video. I hope that uh, what I have shared earlier was useful for you to decide whether it's a better camera for you to enter into a world of full frame mirrorless camera. So uh, I'm Han again from Sony Malaysia. Thank you very much. Feel free to share this video uh, to anyone out there and whoever find it useful for them. See you again soon and bye-bye.